Preparing for your first year of university can be both exciting and challenging. So today, with the knowledge I've gained from finishing four years of mechanical engineering, I'm going to give you the seven step definitive guide on how to survive your first year of university for guaranteed success, with a bonus tip at the end, which honestly might be the most important tip of all. Starting with tip number one, which is to organize yourself. University can hit you with a lot of quizzes, tests, assignments, midterms, and finals very quickly. And trust me, it could be very overwhelming. But I find that the easiest way to make it more manageable is to keep yourself organized. This includes keeping your schedule organized in a color-coded calendar, making to-do lists, and keeping all of your files and lectures organized on your computer. I personally use the default Apple Calendar app, but any cloud-based calendar apps will do the trick. That way, any additions or changes to the calendar will sync with all of your devices. You can even add lock screen and home screen widgets so that you can quickly glance at your calendar to know exactly what your day is going to look like. Some people also like having physical notebooks and calendars, so if that's your thing, then feel free to do what feels most right for you. Before the school year even starts, I put my entire academic schedule onto my calendar app, including any important school dates, such as holidays and reading weeks. In class, as soon as I know due dates and exam dates are coming up, I put it into my calendar and to-do list right away so that I know I'm not gonna accidentally forget about it. Also, I like keeping my school courses, personal life, workout schedules, and more in different colors on my calendar. But most importantly, I keep all of my major due dates in bright red because red is the color of alertness. If you need to be reminded of an event that is coming up, you can also set reminders on the calendar app and it will send you a push notification when an event is approaching. I've really only scratched the surface of the calendar app, so if you want me to make a full video on just this topic, let me know in the comments below because this is a video in and of itself. In terms of organizing your files, I've talked about how I've organized my favorite note-taking app, which is OneNote, in one of my previous videos, which I highly recommend you check out after this one. To organize your computer files, folders are your best friend. I literally have folders within folders, within folders, within folders, within folders. And I know it takes up a lot more clicks to set up initially, but it is extremely worth it in the long run. Next, let's talk studying. One hour of effective studying is better than four hours of bad studying. So experiment with different study techniques to find out what works best for you. Whether it's flashcards, individual study sessions, group study sessions, or summarizing information, the key is to be adaptable. If you find it hard to focus, I highly recommend something called the Pomodoro study technique, where you alternate between study time and break time, so that it will allow your mind to rest in between sessions so that you won't be as easily distracted or burn out as easily. Personally, I really like the 50 minute study to one hour break split, but I know others also like the 25 five split, but do what feels most right for you. Actually set a timer so that it can keep you on track. In engineering, I find that the easiest way to learn is by actually doing. So I like grinding practice problems and homework before a test or exam. So when it comes time for the real deal in the assessment, it is familiar. Also, break down larger tasks into smaller chunks so that tackling them will become a lot more manageable. Like if you have a ton of things due in a course in a short amount of time, then list out everything that you have to do. For example, assignments, practice problems, quizzes, and then prioritize the ones that you have to do first and then tackle them one by one. When you complete your task, then actually check it off your list because seeing your list get smaller and smaller gives you a hit of dopamine and it will motivate you to continue. And this leads me perfectly into my next point, which is to prioritize your time wisely. As I've said, there may be times when you have a lot of items like assignments, tests, and quizzes due in a short amount of time. In this case, you need to prioritize how much time you should be spending on each item based on the due date, difficulty level, and how many marks it's worth. If a quiz is only worth 5% and your test is worth 10, I'd probably put more effort in studying for the test. But if the test is in a subject matter that you're familiar with and the prof is known for making chill quizzes, then I might not need to spend as much time studying for that. So do your own evaluation and risk assessment based on your circumstances. My next tip is to build relationships. Having good friends in university is important for several reasons, and I know you probably already know them. But it's not just about socializing. It's a critical part of your academic and personal journey. Having a solid friend circle provides you emotional support, helps you navigate challenges, and combat homesickness. 
They're also your study buddies and academic collaborators. Plus, these friends aren't just for now. They can be valuable contacts for in the future, offering networking opportunities and potential career connections. So, I highly recommend you to join clubs and talk to the people in your classes. Building relationships is not just about making friends, but it's also about connecting with the professors, attending office hours, participating in class discussions, and asking questions. Your professor can be a valuable mentor in your academic journey, and they could be your reference for when you graduate. Most professors are really supportive of your academic journey, so I highly encourage you to talk with them. My next tip is to take care of your well-being. This includes both your physical and mental health. Start by establishing a balanced routine that includes sufficient sleep, regular exercise, and a well-rounded diet. In university, it may be tempting to go all gas and no breaks, but believe me, it is extremely important to find a balance between working and playing. If all you do is grind 24-7, then you will be burnt out very easily and this will hinder your ability to learn. On the contrary, if all you do is play and not study, then you may not perform to your highest potential in school, so find a good balance. I started going to the gym during my co-op term and continued working out into my fourth year, and I can feel my physical and mental well-being be a lot better. So try to find a friend who works out and ask them to teach you the ropes. Next is how to save money. Buying textbooks from the bookstore at full price can get very expensive very quickly. And once you're done with your courses, they are pretty much never touched again. However, there are cheaper alternatives as to where you can get your textbooks from. Firstly, see if your school has a used textbooks for sale Facebook page. Secondhand textbooks are cheaper and you could potentially negotiate some prices with the seller. Next, you could find a lot of PDF versions of textbooks for free on the internet. I don't have a specific website where you can find these textbooks because there are so many of them, but if you simply search up the name of the textbook with the word PDF at the end of your search, you could probably find it, or at least the previous edition of the textbook. I remember in first year, I bought some textbooks thinking that physical textbooks would be better for studying and motivate me to study more, but I ended up finding the exact same PDF versions of the textbook online and I barely ever touched my physical textbook because it was too bulky and heavy. So unless it's mandatory to buy a physical textbook in order to pass the course, I would consider going for these alternatives. My last tip before my bonus tip is to embrace challenges. There will be a jump from high school to university, and depending on your program and study habits, it could be pretty overwhelming, so prepare for that. But always remember, if you're struggling, don't be afraid to seek help. Ask your friends, TAs, and professors for help. Also. Don't be afraid to drop classes or switch programs if you discovered that your current program isn't completely right for you. University is all about finding out what you like and don't like. If you're struggling in a program and you genuinely hate it, it wouldn't make you a failure that you transferred programs. It just simply means that different people are wired differently than others, and some people are meant to excel in other programs. If you talk with your academic advisor, they will give you support and guide you along a path with the best solution for you. With all that being said, engineering is pretty tough, so I'm not saying that you should transfer out of the program as soon as it seems a bit tough, but you should do your own assessment of how you're doing and make a reasonable decision based on that. Now, here's a bonus tip as a reward for watching all the way until the end of this video. My bonus tip is to make the most of your university experience. University is such a fun and unique experience that for most people will only get to experience once in their lifetimes. Of course, it will have its ups and downs, but your experience is heavily governed by your attitude towards it. So live it up! Make the most of your university experience by combining everything I talked about in today's video. Don't be afraid to take risks and go out of your comfort zone. If you have any more topics about university you want me to cover, then let me know down in the comments section below. I highly recommend you check out my day in life videos over here, or check out my university playlist over here. This has been Jason and I will see you in my very next video. Peace.